Um, hello, it's James Chris from the uh, Daily Telegraph. Uh, predictably, I'm, I'm going to ask a question about uh, the No Deal Brexit plans. Could you please explain to us how these plans are different to what's called a managed No Deal Brexit, uh, which some politicians in Britain uh, believe is the solution to these difficult negotiations? Uh, well, uh, as, as you know, concerning uh, uh, Brexit, uh, also um, terminology is uh, evolving. We are in unprecedented uh, situation, and therefore also the meaning of what soft Brexit uh, has been uh, uh, would be uh, had been evolving over time. So I would not go into now uh, terminology. Uh, what's uh, 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 difference of contingency planning or managed no deal uh, uh, Brexit, uh, but uh, I can tell on uh, substance uh, what uh, uh, we are uh, doing here. Uh, first of all, there is uh, uh, agreement on uh, table, and of course, uh, uh, the better solution would be to ratify the agreement because certainly it would uh, minimize the uh, disruption to the larger uh, extent and allow us to prepare properly uh, future relations between EU and uh, UK. Uh, since uh, we know that uh, uh, there is a risk of no deal uh, Brexit, of course we need to do our uh, preparations, so we have this contingency action plan. We are looking at uh, different uh, areas um, and uh, uh, taking measures to minimize the uh, disruption. So I can speak uh, in the area of uh, financial services because uh, uh, that's uh, the area I had uh, been uh, working in on uh, directly. Uh, we uh, have identified uh, through the working group of European Central Bank and Bank of England uh, certain risks to the financial stability. Uh, concretely on derivatives clearing, and therefore we come with a temporary equivalence uh, decision uh, of one uh, year in area of derivatives uh, clearing, allowing market participants to adjust their uh, business uh, uh, models. Uh, we come with two years equivalence uh, uh, decision on uh, central securities uh, depositories, and we come with uh, uh, two regulatory uh, standards uh, allowing uh, for a smoother transition of uh, contracts from uh, UK to EU. So those are, uh, for example, decisions in the uh, area of uh, financial services, but as I said, there are other areas. Quick follow-up, but I mentioned that we have a technical briefing, so I would like to give the floor also to other, other colleagues. Really, really appreciate the chance for the, for the quick follow-up. I, I suppose to be absolutely clear, there are people who will see these plans for a soft landing and think that this is better than no deal and the deal on the table. So what do you say to those people in Britain? We uh, say what he had been uh, saying uh, throughout uh, this uh, process. Uh, of course, the best, uh, 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 if we talk in terms of economy and uh, uh, avoiding disruptions, is uh, to stay within the EU. Then, uh, if the decision on Brexit is uh, taken, of course, uh, 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 withdrawal or uh, Brexit with a deal is better than uh, withdrawal uh, with no deal. In uh, case of no deal scenario, of course, doing some preparation to minimize damage is better than not doing any preparation at all. And I think the Vice President was very clear at the beginning when he said this will not replicate the benefits of the withdrawal agreement, which is, of course, more beneficious. Um, is there anything more on Italy? Because otherwise, I move on to Lukash. 